Hello world! Hello world! This week we have a different episode. So there was an interesting project going on uh, the past week in beautiful Venice region here in Italy. It was this art exhibit. Ooh. And um, guess who was performing, quote unquote, I have to say. Who was it? There was Alberto Braido. Oh yes, you saw him already on this channel as well. <laughs> Absolutely. And then there was um, Gabriele Gro Gron Gronis, Gronis, to Gronis. say it in Italian. I don't know how to pronounce that, but the guy is super cool and he's a painter. Before this exhibit, I didn't know the guy. I had no idea what kind of work mm -hmm. uh, he produced, but it was wow. Oh, what was this project about? Alberto sent me a link. It's in Italian, but I'm going to translate it in real time for you Just guys. Just for you. Just for you. Subscribe, subscribe! Here's the website of the of the exhibit. The name of the exhibit was Riverberazioni, uh, which is incredibly tough to translate in English, but it's, <laughs> how would you translate it? Um, kind of like reverbs. Uh, yeah, what? Asian. Reverb Reverberation. Reverberations. Hashtag. Because it's, it's <laughs> plural. Reverberations. This is a cultural project that was born from this initial big umbrella project, which is called Pane Cultura. In Italian means uh, bread and, and culture. culture. Two very good things. <laughs> And it's promoted by the Cultural Association mm -hmm. and the media, the Stampa Bellunese, in collaboration with the Foundation Atlantide of the Teatro Stabile, the Verona. theater in Verona, the Foundation Teatri delle Dolomiti, and with the support of the Fondazione Cari Verona, which I didn't know about. Did you know about it? No, I didn't know about well, it. Well, we found out something new. The project goal is to... Um, Enhance. Yeah. That's the right thank word. You. Oh, yeah, so helpful. Thank you so much. <laughs> to enhance the cultural background? Where, yeah, the cultural background. That's a very good word. The cultural background Ding. of our region mm. by involving young artists. And uh, throughout a development program, mm. they learned how yeah. everything works in, in, in the industry. And the final goal is to hopefully give an opportunity to young artists to mm -hmm. find uh, a career, start their career. So I went to Belluno, honestly didn't know what to expect. The event was at Palazzo Fulcis, this beautiful building Yay. downtown Belluno, yeah, big museum. Check it out! Yeah, I invite you to go and visit if you happen to stop by in town. So what's the name of the painter again? Yeah, I have a book as well. Let me bring it a little bit closer for you. This is Gabriele Grones. Grones? Or, uh, I think I'm it's not Grones. Sure. Gabriele, let us know. Yes. <laughs> and they also signed the book. No joke. Yes. This oh. is Gabriele's. This is Alberto. Oh. And this Laura. is Laura. Laura. Or Laura? Laura with an exclamation mark. Who's so Laura? sweet. I'm going to show you. Show us. Show us. Yes. Nice. This is the um, flyer. Yeah. This is the big version of the flyer of the exhibit. Reverberations. Yes. This is Alberto and this one reflecting her <gasps> own image in the mirror is Laura. That's so nice. So everybody meet Laura. Oh, look, look. <coughs> Show the other version as well because it's cute. Yeah. There's a smaller version which is this one. Which is the, the actual flyer. Pretty cool because on the back there are these QR codes and you can use them to download this app from, well, the 18th of December until the twin, no, sorry, the 12th of January. Okay. 2020, if you visit the museum, uh, you can enjoy the, the, the visit with an app. You can use headphones and with a tablet or a phone, yeah. you can That's listen cool. to the music while you watch the paintings. That's and so nice. It's, it's very nice. I have to say, I, I didn't expect it to be like that. Wow. Basically, Alberto wrote a song for each one of the paintings Ooh. that Gabriele did. And uh, the idea was to create a connection between the two. The music was the glue of the experience between the, the piece of art that you were looking at and, well, the audience. The audience. audience. Nice. And I, I thought that maybe Alberto would, would have performed somewhere in the museum and then the music would have been streamed for other museums. But, but it wasn't like it that. It wasn't like that. No, <laughs> uh, it was some sort of guided tour. Ooh. So we had the group 
uh, that, mm -hmm. that started the visit and they split it in two. One went with Alberto and one went with Gabriele. And in which one were you? I was with Alberto's. Oh, and nice. I also have some so... videos I want to show, oh. I want to share with you guys. I'm going to enjoy it on yes. the big screen, but I have, you know, the laptop here as yes. we still have to edit this. So nice. you, you will enjoy it full screen. Yeah. The two groups started the exhibit, one from the top, the other one from the bottom. And then we met like halfway it's for nice. the exhibit. Uh, and it was beautiful because Alberto was, um, 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 introducing the audience to the paintings of course and it was offering some insights about the That's way cool. he composed each track. It's super interesting. It was very interesting. And different as well. Exactly. I like that. And uh, the, mu the music really helped the narrative you know and, 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 and helped taking you on a, on a journey mm -hmm. um, that uh, otherwise would have been completely different. Okay. It was like a frame, mm -hmm. an extra frame for those paintings. Beautiful. In every room, Alberto introduced the music he wrote uh, for each painting mm -hmm. and uh, all the tracks were playing in a loop nice. um, in, in every room. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the whole experience of the exhibit? Definitely immersive. Mm -hmm. That's a very good word. Uh, yeah, it was engaging and I, I liked very much the fact that Gabriele and Alberto added that extra layer of, of, of information that helped you yeah. um, understand every piece of the exhibit. Uh, and definitely fresh because I like the concept mm -hmm. and uh, it's something completely different. And new. And yeah. new as well. It was a beautiful experience, I have to say. It was worth it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's really special as well to have the authors uh, with you because yes I love guided tours uh, but when you have the the artist uh, it really it, it really feels like uh, they are grabbing your hand and uh, make you walk through their creative process and the cherry on top at the end of the exhibit was a DJ set by Lollame, Lorenzo, this guy oh, incredibly good music selection mixed live uh, he and another group of artists in Belluno organized these amazing parties That's and so um, yeah I, I really enjoyed it so well done Lorenzo yes. <laughs> okay. how are we gonna wrap it up um, if you do want to know more we're gonna keep you posted so like this video subscribe to the channel <laughs> and follow us along stay tuned